I've got this consistent character right here, but he looks quite lonely. So let's give him an AI girlfriend. With just one prompt, I can combine these two consistent characters into one image, which I can then turn into a video by using an image to video generator, all through the same platform. So now that my boy over here got some love, let me explain to you how this works. Up until now, creating multiple consistent characters into one image was quite difficult to do. Yet, it is very important if you want to make a story, a movie, an animation, or even a comic book that you have multiple consistent characters into one scene. But up until now, you had to do this through some kind of image editing and it all took really, really long. Now, with open art, you can simply prompt it by adding in two characters into one scene. In this video, I will show you exactly how it works. I have tested all kinds of different characters and I will tell you exactly what does work and what doesn't and by the end of this video you will know how you can turn your image into a video so you can do fun stuff like make them move have them hug or even have them kiss if you want to try this out yourself I will leave a link and a discount code in the description down below so you can test it out for yourself the first step is creating your consistent character for doing this we're gonna go over to open art then you click on consistent character then here you have three different options you can do so with one image or you can do so with a description in this video i will show you this one first and then later i will show you the description one now let's import your image i have my image right here which is this character so now i'm just gonna drop it in there and then you can give it a name so i'm gonna name this guy zeus and then you can create your character for 2000 credits this will take you about 10 minutes and then your character will be finished so i've already done this part i have my character zeus right here and then you click on create and now we can start creating images with our character as you can see see over here at the left hand side we have the prompt box where we have add Zeus and then we can enter in our prompt now what we now need is another character so you want to click on add character you want to create your new character and then you want to repeat that process either by doing it with a description or an image i already have my character that i want to put in there which is sky so now we can combine these two characters by saying add zeus and add sky are having coffee in a cafe then you click on create and now your images will be created here we have them both sitting down having a cup of coffee i created a bunch of them so you can choose which one you like the most let's do another example so here i have zeus and sky and now they're walking in the park together what you can do as well is you can change the aspect ratio so you can for example right now have landscape but you could also put it in portrait whatever you prefer for my images as i want to animate them i'd like to put them in landscape so now we create it again and then we have these examples let's actually step it up a notch because right now they're just walking side by side or sitting like next to each other let's actually do a different character this time so let's switch out sky for my boy tarzan so now let's just change it to zeus and tarzan are giving each other a high five so now we got these four examples and keep in mind you might sometimes have some glitching going on with the hands that's one thing that it can struggle at a little bit i noticed but because i generate like four different images i have plenty of images to choose from if i don't like it i can just regenerate it and then i can do that until i have something that looks good but all in all this works best if you have characters that are somewhat similar to each other so for example zeus and tarzan both have a similar style going on but let's actually try this for a completely different set of characters so now let's use tara that i have right here and my boy garfieldo now the great thing about this is what makes it better than just doing this manually by either doing something like photoshop and combining the two characters you can actually make them hold each other so for example right now i have tara holding garfudo in her arms i click on create and then we have this so this is the original style of my character and with this prompt it's kind of like taking over the style of my other character which is okay in this scene like we have multiple different generations we can choose which one we like the most and i think all of them look quite cool only the hands right here doesn't look that good you can have a lot of fun with this for example here i have this from monsters and co and the cat that i generated i combined them and said to them they're playing soccer in the park and yeah this looks quite good like i could just straight up animate this and it looks amazing other than that if i show you a few other features here for example i have a mandalorian with my other character this looks decent but then on my other generations i think here it looks quite bad and that's because i have different styles going on so that's one thing i want to warn you about if you try to combine multiple different styles then you might get errors so for example what i mean by that is here i have tara combined with a samurai now this just didn't work like it took over her face 
eyes. The characters, I don't know, they might be too similar. Like here as well, you can see her face doesn't match with the original character. So with some characters, it works better than others. For example, here I have my boy Mickey Mouse and Garfield, and this works pretty well. I even tried this with my own Disney Pixar style character that looks like me with Garfield, and this looks quite cool. Like this could be a scene from a movie. Now, if you want to turn these images into videos, then I would first upscale it. To do that, you click on your image, then you go to Ultimate Upscale, and now you can select your image, and then you can do the precise upscale so it doesn't change a lot and then you can create this and then you have a version that looks better than the previous one if i drag over the slider to the left then you can see that this part is a bit sharper my blue jacket is also a bit sharper so if i drag it again then you can see the difference going on so then what you want to do is you can put this to image to video and all of this is in open art so you don't need to have multiple subscriptions you have an image upscaler you have your own image to video tool you have literally everything that you want inside open art within open art you could select different models so you could for example do halo you can do cling and you can also add in a sound effect so if you have something that needs a sound effect then you can do that as well in here now you click on create and then your video will probably take like a minute or two and then you you have a video like this. If you want to have more control over the outcome of your images, there's another way to do all of this. So if you go over to edit, then you can drag in your image. I'm using this image. Then you can add in another image and then you can start your own blend board. So now this takes a second, but the background of this cat will be removed. As you can see, the background is now removed. Now we can drag it over and we can make it a bit smaller and then we can have it seated right here. What you then do is you change up the creativity level of the blend settings. So I want to have it a bit more creative and then I make this a tiny bit smaller, drag it over to here and now you hit blend then you get a blended image like this and as you see the cat is perfectly blended in and it looks quite smooth so this way you have so much more control over where you want to position your characters how you want the image to look like you can have complete freedom with this now let me discuss the pricing because how much does all of this cost so in open art you have the monthly plan which is 14 bucks a month and this will give you 4,000 credits if you're using this plan then it means you can generate like one character and then you can animate it you also can create two personalized character but that means that you won't have any credits left for other things so i would recommend if you want to test this out fully to go with the advanced plan this will give you 12,000 credits and you can play around with this or if you're a big user like i am go with the infinite plan it gives you all the credits that you need and you can even buy some extra credits if you want to if you want to save a little bit of money you can use my discount code i will leave that in the description down below this will also help support the channel and i really appreciate that. Now, if you want to learn how you can create talking AI avatars with OpenArt and Kling AI, then click the video that's on the screen right now and I will give you a detailed breakdown of how that all works.